Greetings, everyone. Welcome into Calc 2. Um, I, I hope you enjoyed my Calc 1 series, if you, if you did watch it. And we're going to be continuing through the, the lovely subject of calculus with this second installment. Um, it's going to assume that you already are proficient with uh, all of your derivative and integral rules, as well as some of the approximating techniques uh, on the basic side of the integration that will get expanded upon in this course as well. Um, the first lecture in most traditional Calc 2 classes of this nature are sort of a review into the integration techniques uh, from Calc 1, all of your substitutions and all of your basic rules. Um, I'm going to recommend, instead of me making one video to try and sum all of that up, I already did a pretty decent job of explaining the stuff before. If you want to recap those like a traditional Calc 2 class would, uh, go watch some of the ending videos from my Calc 1 series. Um, this Calc 2 series is going to begin uh, fresh with the, the first lecture on advanced integration techniques. So then... Uh, after all of the uh, advanced integration techniques, then you're done with all of the, the basic rules of how to handle your derivatives and integrals. Uh, from there, we expand into infinite sequences and series, which may seem like it's a switch of topic, but by the end of the infinite sequences and series chapter, you realize that what we're doing is wrapping that back around to further study functions with infinite series. Uh, then we move into parametric equations and functions. Again, calculus being the study of functions, parametric equations being another way of representing those uh, is an entire chapter topic as well. We then move into the 2D, 3D um, intro into graphing, um, some of the more advanced objects that we have, especially the 3D kind um, in the 3D coordinate system, the 3D uh, rectangular coordinate system. And then we also expand that into vectors uh, in 2D and 3D. And then all of the operations associated with vectors and anything that you would ever need to use vectors for, even with some physics applications. Um, and from beyond that, we then go into vector functions um, so that we can see how a lot of this 3D stuff can get wrapped back in again into the study of functions. Um, I'll be using GeoGebra for everything graphical in this course. It's a 100% free uh, software that turns your computer into a supercharged graphing calculator that can do equations and solving and 2D and 3D graphing. Uh, also with vectors as well. It has all of the things in it. GeoGebra is an awesome, lovely program and all of the graphics uh, in my series use that to, to demonstrate these things so that you can get the visual side as well. Feel free to um, you know, send me some sort of message if you're interested in GeoGebra or any of the files that I'm using. I do save them, and uh, it's easy for me to, to send any of those out if you're interested. OpenStax is uh, just the, the uh, website that I've been using in my classes for free textbooks and other free resources that they have uh, to enhance the learner's education process. The textbooks are written the same language as any other, just as good of a read, and they have uh, extra problems to practice. So I hope you enjoy this uh, semester uh, treatment of Calculus 2.